Carter Lake families, welcome to the 2021 school year. I have some important information to share with you here at our back to school virtual event. We are so excited that you are a Carter Lake family. I'm Marianne Ruprecht and I'm proud, so proud to be the principal here. We have an amazing group of teachers and staff that are ready to get to know you and provide a rigorous learning experience. In this video, I will share information that will help answer, hopefully answer, what will school look like this fall? In a couple of weeks, we will be posting virtual open house videos to share specific grade level learning goals and curriculum information for the year. Mark your calendars for September 16th. If you have more than one student here at Carter Lake, it will be easy for you to view multiple grade level presentations that way. For questions, we'll have you reach out to the teachers individually. Students, I want to tell you something from all of us here at Carter Lake. You are so important to us. You are why we do this job. You are the reason we work so hard. And while we can't see you in person right away, we are so very excited to connect with you on Teams. We look forward to getting to know you more and for you to get to know the other kids in your class too. We hope you show up each day to your online session on time and excited for learning. That way we can welcome you all at once and start with a special student connection lesson. Learning will be work, but it will be fun if we do it together. And we just can't wait to celebrate all the things you will learn this year. Best wishes for a great 2021 school year. Here's the general Carter Lake schedule. Grade level schedules, including a breakdown of content areas and times will be sent to you by the teacher. If you have a preschool student here with us, you will receive your schedule directly from Ms. Rogers. Students with the last names A through L, and there are some exceptions, will be enrolled in the AM session. This means that from 7.45 to 10.15, the students will meet with their teacher live for instruction. The afternoon will be, sent, be spent in asynchronous learning time, time guided by the teacher. Last name students M through Z, and again, there are some exceptions, are enrolled in the PM session. This means those students will log on for live instruction with the teacher at 11.45 to 2.15. Their morning will be asynchronous or the learning will be guided by the teacher. The late start Wednesday information is listed there too for you and that begins September 23rd. K-5 instruction this fall includes online time for social emotional, reading, social studies, math, writing, and science lessons with the teacher. Teachers will be sharing learning targets, providing instruction, facilitating discussion, allowing time for students to practice skills, and assessing their work. When kids are working on their own, they will watch video lessons, complete activities, Maybe the teacher will assign work so that you're ready for the next lesson or have the chance to practice skills. Sometimes we'll use programs like Freckle or Zern or other digital tools to help us and you track progress. We can't wait to celebrate your learning. This fall, we will be administering district assessments, WACIDS, STAR, DIBBLES, and MAP online. We will be training our test proctors soon and we'll share information 
with you about the schedule and what this will look like for you and your student. We appreciate your partnership as we begin assessing students this September. Our teachers and staff truly care about supporting you in this time, and we will ensure that your child has a rigorous learning experience this fall. Our English language services will begin right away. Our plan is for Mrs. Wells to support students during synchronous writing time. We will be reaching out to you if your child qualifies to receive lap support, and Mrs. Kerher will schedule that during the grade level science slash intervention time. Families of students with resource and or IEP services will be receiving a phone call to discuss plans soon. While in this a virtual learning environment, we need you to know how to log in. We're going to be using MS Teams, the same platform that was used in the spring. Here is the login information. Pre-K, kinder, and first grade students will use the username listed there. It's the student's six-digit ID at edweb.cloverpark.k12.wa.us. It's that whole part for the username. And then the password is listed there on the right. For grades two through five, their username is just their six digit ID. And again, the password is listed on the right. This fall, daily attendance will be taken and we're planning to do that during the first 10 minutes of synchronous learning time for the AM and the PM session. We're gonna be tracking and entering daily attendance directly into Skyward. Grading. This is a change from spring. We will be assessing assignments and summative assessments will be graded as well. Those will be entered in Skyward and updated on a weekly basis. Our trimester one ends on December 4th and our report cards will be mailed home December 18th. Both attendance and grading information will be in Skyward, so your ability to access Skyward is going to be important. So if you have login questions, please call us at the office and we can help you with that. This is another change, so important updates about lunch. Beginning September 2nd, the federal waiver that allowed us to serve free meals to all students was not renewed. So at, at the start of the school year, September 2nd, students may buy a meal and our eligible students will receive a free or reduced priced meal. So if you have not submitted that free and reduced application, please do so. That's going to be important. We're have, we'll have a copy for you to fill out in the first day packets handed out during those technology distribution days. Our pickup time for Carter Lake will be from 10.45 to noon. 2 way communication is a very important to us here. Teachers will be sharing information with you by way of newsletters, emails, and phone calls, but they want to hear from you too. Please reach out when you have questions. We will also keep you posted throughout the year using School Messenger. Those automated, those automated emails, calls, and text messages. So keep your phone number and email up to date in Skyward so that you receive that information from us. I've listed my phone number and email, and import, it's important that you know that you can always reach out to contact me about concerns or questions. Um, that would be great to hear from you.
you may have questions that weren't addressed, right? So please give me an email or call the school main office and then look for those back to school grade level videos to post September 16th. We welcome your questions. Please contact us if please contact us if we can support your family in any way for the 2021 school year.